confused. If you guys enjoyed the intro or enjoy what you see here, go follow SM underscore battle underscore stories on Instagram or get some work done yourself. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today I have some brand new WWE action figure customs and fix-ups to show you guys. I have, you know, a few here. We have, I think, about 10 or so to show you here. But uh, anyways, as you guys know, in WWE Action Figure Surgery Episode 8 yesterday, we did create this custom bloodline right here. First of all, we have Roman Reigns, and this is probably my favorite one. Of course, Jimmy and Jay are looking great as well, but Roman Reigns is the uh, the biggest part of it. As you can see here, we got the Elite 56 head scan. We have the Elite 56 torso. I took some random base basic Roman arms. I put bear hands on them because I, I didn't want the gauntlet hand on there. I think the bear hands look best as far as this jogger Uso bloodline look. I threw the Elite 64 J Uso vest on there to give him that day one-ish black vest. He's got the, uh, the red bandana to tie it all together. And yeah, which one? Uh, a lot of you guys said you like the red one better than the white one yesterday. But uh, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys have not seen this Roman yet, let me know down in the comment section below which one you like better. I'll probably be switching the shoes in a later video probably just to see what that looks like so you guys can be on the lookout for that. But yes, we do have Roman Reigns, the leader of the Bloodline faction. So we have him updated in his red gear. And then of course you have your white versions of the Usos. And obviously these aren't really fix-ups, but uh, you can see here this is the red one. I did switch on the white wrist tape arm arms for uh, the Elite 64. So when they have their jackets off, they still have on, you know, the, the white wrist tape. This has a Nikki Bella hat on there. I just think that looks fresh. But if you remove the hat, you can see the uh, the more resemblance here to the other Elite 54 Jey Uso, the, the red bandana and everything tying it all together. So we have Jey Uso, and then we have our final member of the Usos in Jimmy. And what we did yesterday, this is actually a fix-up. The Jey was not, but the... Uh, the Elite 54 Jimmy head scan is absolutely atrocious, so when I picked up my extra Jimmy to make the Roman Reigns bloodline and the extra jacket, I went ahead and popped the Elite 64 head onto my Elite 54 because the uh, Elite 54 is absolutely just the worst thing you could ever see. And uh, I did switch their arms. I didn't have any extra white wrist tape arms, so I, I'll have to do that later on get some uh, extra Jimmy arms, that way he'll have the white wrist tape matching all of his gear. And of course, I did add the white wrist tape over to the Elite 64, so the Usos and the Bloodline and everything with Roman Reigns is looking absolutely beautiful. Again, if you would like to see any of those figures actually be created, go watch WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 8. That video will show you the exact process we used and everything like that. So moving on to the other fix-ups that we have in today's video, guys. We have this Elite 63 Kane, and what I did for him is, it, as you guys know, he came with a maskless head scan, and then he came with the, you know, removable mask. You're supposed to stick the mask onto the head. I don't like that. I think that the, the head scan is really good. I love the, uh, the non-demon head scan that it comes with. However, I think that for a masked Kane figure, I think the molded on or sculpted mask is a much better look. I think this looks way better in my opinion. So now we have an updated Kane, you know, he just wrestled at Crown Jewel, and I'm sure he'll be going away pretty soon after Survivor Series if he's not already gone, but uh, we do have an Elite 63 Kane fix up. I'll probably take that non-demon Kane mask head or whatever and st stick it on an Authority Kane or something like that, so that's probably what I'll do with that one. We also have three more fix ups to show you guys. First up... I took my Elite 60 Kofi Kingston, and you guys can see he does have the blonde streak in his hair. I did add that right there because he has a blonde streak in his hair now. So if you guys can see by the pictures there, um, I went ahead and just did that fix up. I took like some, uh, I think it was some orange and yellow paint, mixed it together to get that blondish brownish look. And then, uh, of course, just painted the streaks into Kofi's hair. I really like it. I think it looks great. Came out very clean, sealed it up. And now we have an updated Kofi Kingston. So I'm happy with that. Always loved Kofi, one of my favorites of all time. And truly an underrated talent. Next up, we have a couple Seth Rollins fix-ups. The first one that we do have is the Epic Moments Shield 3-pack. What I did is, uh, as you guys know, this figure did not have the lines painted on the side here. So I went ahead, took it upon myself, painted the black lines onto the hips or the crotch piece there so that lines up nicely. And then they gave us blank black knee pads and I thought, you know what, Brad, that's just really stupid. So I mixed together some gray colors and it's not perfect, but it is close enough. So I did paint the faces of the knee pads. So now 
it's uh, you know more accurate to the attire. This isn't even the attire he was wearing when the shield reformed. This is more of like his Extreme Rules return attire in 2016, I do believe, when he returned and pedigreed Roman Reigns after uh, he defeated D Dean Ambrose. I think that's what it was. So yeah, we did fix up our Epic Moments Elite Three Pack Shield Seth Rollins, and then we have our last fix up right here, guys. It is this top talent Seth Rollins figure, and what I did was I popped the arms off and then I switched on. On the SummerSlam Elite Seth Rollins arms on here because he did wear this attire. I call this the Monday Night Rollins attire because when he started doing that moniker, he did wear this attire. And I think in that gauntlet match leading up to Elimination Chamber, he actually wore it with the red and black. And I think the red and black's better because it, you know, it ties into that uh, knee pad right there and everything like that. We did not review the Top Talents line. I don't think I was going to. If you guys wanted me to, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. I just, I don't know. I didn't think it would do well since um, these figures have been out a little while. But I think that the Top Talent Seth Rollins looks incredible with the black and red on there. I don't know why anybody hasn't done that yet. But uh, I took it upon myself to go ahead and do that. So we do have the Top Talent Seth Rollins. And that pretty much does it for all of the fix-ups I have to show you guys today. But that pretty much does it for all of the figures that I have to show you guys here today. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of all of the different fix-ups here. I think my favorite is, uh, I don't know, I actually, I think I like all of them. Um, my least favorite would probably be the Seth and the Kane just because it's not that big of a deal to me. It's just bleh. But uh, I really like the Seth Rollins SummerSlam arms on that top talents. I love the Bloodline Usos Roman uh, fix-ups right there. Those customs are incredible. Uh, updated Kofi looks flames and then Kane's just mad because Kane just needs to retire. But that pretty much does it for today's video guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.